Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Arthur Galestian, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how I go about monitoring when I'm traveling and without any access to a proper studio with big 8-inch studio monitors. It can be done, and it can be done really well. So, the first really important thing to keep in mind is to have multiple sources of monitoring. And when you're traveling, that's going to be your headphones. So you want to have at least two headphones. Um, if you do have a pair of portable studio monitors like the uh, Genelec line that's made for travel, then great, you know, you can take those along with you too uh, if you have the space or the inclination to do it, but, uh, but otherwise, um, at the least, you should have two headphones. The two that I recommend are the uh, Sennheiser HD650s. These are open back headphones, um, which are amazing for mixing, if you're doing mastering and for getting a really good read on what your track sounds like, it's quite flat. Um, as you can see here, if I zoom in on the sides, they are open. So those grills uh, let all the air come through from the outside and vice versa. So if you're sitting down and working, everybody that's sitting next to you will be able to hear exactly what you're working on. It's not going to contain any of the sound. But at the same time, one of the biggest benefits is that when you're working, you're not going to have sound vibrating off of the inside of the headphones within the walls of those headphones, which changes the way this, the, the sound is. It kind of colors the sound. Um, so open back headphones give you the most accurate spatial representation of, uh, of how sound actually is in the real world. It's not contained. It's kind of open. It's free-flowing. And so I really recommend having a pair of um, open back headphones as your primaries. So I go with the Sennheiser HD650s. I love them. They're amazing. They go down as low as 10 hertz, which you're never even going to hear. But that's just how cool they are, that they can even play back that low. And they go all the way up to 39,000 hertz. Um, again, you're not going to even hear anything up that high. But hey, that's how it is. Um, for the second headphones that I use, it's these Phonon SMB02s which are incredibly amazing. For the longest time, I didn't even believe that you could have amazing headphones for mixing, for mastering, for professional use if they were uh, anything but open. So these were the first headphones I tried out and tested that really, really blew me away. And they are closed. So <clears throat> the benefit of having them closed is obviously that if you're working in situations where you're going to be around people and you know and nobody wants to hear you playing the same drum loop for 20 minutes in a row. So these are good for containing your sounds. You know, you can work without disturbing others. Um, and they just give you a different uh, opinion on what your mix sounds like. So as the primary, I generally go for the Sennheiser HD 650s. And then when I need a second opinion, I'll switch over to these, um, these phonons. And they are an incredible team together. So I recommend both of those guys. So that said, um, don't get used to just one. Just keep switching in and out of the two so you get a good reference point. If you are carrying the portable studio monitors with you, well, then even better. Now you have three points of monitoring. So anyhow, let's go back to this Ableton Live session. So I use this plugin called Magic AB, which is awesome because it lets you AB between your own project and some reference tunes. And just to show you guys what I'm working with, I've loaded up these two reference tracks. Um, I'm kind of doing this deep progressive house tune here. Uh, this was my most recent release on Perfecto Black. And this is the exact project file as was sent to the label. So I'm just going to play this back so you guys can hear it. Alright, so that's the main track, and if I'm going to switch over to these B reference tunes. And then we also have this one. So let's switch over to our main tune here. I'm just going to run them all at the same time so we can hear what they sound like when they're going in and out of each other. So 
So the cool thing about this plugin is that it'll let you jump in and out of these tunes uh, so you can hear exactly what's going on. If you feel like the reference tunes have maybe a little bit more mids and you your song needs more mids, you can go in and you know tune the synths that you want to brighten up in the middle individually. Um, if you feel like your hi-hats aren't strong enough or if they're not bright enough, you can go in and, uh, and, and compare the, the reference tunes and your own track and make the adjustments as necessary. So the Magic AB goes as the last plugin on your master chain. And that's pretty much it. I use this plugin on almost every single track to make sure that what I'm targeting sounds the way I want it to. So pick some of your favorite tunes that you want to sound like, tunes that you're happy with on the mastering, um, tunes that are what you're aiming for, and you'll have a roadmap on where to go. So that's it. That's all I got for you. Um, if you are interested in learning more about producing music on the road, uh, I'm running a website called nomadicproducers.com. I have an ebook called the, the Nomadic Producers Handbook, and it goes through everything you'll need to, um, to, to produce music on the road, everything, everything from equipment to... Uh, you know, to the gear that you'll take with you to travel. That's not just music production stuff, to your mindset, to preparing for travel. I've uh, gone on for two and a half, three years, just traveling on the road nonstop, making music, and all my biggest projects have been done all remotely. So I feel like I have a lot to share if, you're, if you want to learn. I have a couple of free guides um, on, on the website. There's a dance music conferences guide, which will clue you in on some of the most important dance music conferences around the world. And there's also a free stays guide, which uh, gives you some tips and tricks to finding room and board, sometimes even food as you're traveling. So thank you guys for, for listening. Hope you enjoy the video. My name's Arthur Galestian. Until next time, see ya.